let's go. Summer's gone, I'm latching on. Don't even know your name, but you're still in my head. Underneath rays of gold, your body oh so close. No, I can't forget. No. When I saw you on the dance floor, oh, I saw you who saw me first. I guess it's history now, and I shouldn't care, but it still hurts. I didn't realize. Hi, everybody. Today, we're finally gonna make my uh, baby bed. Drink of all time. Actually, no. My favorite drink is the margarita, but my second favorite is the mojito. And it's the only time I can drink rum. <laughs> but don't forget that this is a collab with Eat Laugh Review. I won't be doing an appetizer today to pair with this drink. I'm just going to make the drink really quickly. And she is going to review it for you and let you know how it tastes. And she's also going to review the raw vegan tacos that I made in the previous video. So if you have not watched that yet, please go and click that link and watch that as well after you finish this video. But this is going to be paired with those raw vegan tacos, this mojito. It is a pineapple sage, no, sorry. This It is a pineapple berry sage mojito. And the berry is just a strawberry, but you can change it with raspberries and other berries you want. I'm also going to use this Italian sparkling mineral water, but you can use club soda. Some people use Sprite or 7-Up. It's traditionally used with club soda, sparkling water, or mineral water, but some people have subbed that with Sprite just to have a little extra flavor. But I'm going to use the Italian um, mineral water. Spark It's a sparkling mineral water. Okay, my first thing I'm going to do is core this. Now, there's a theme with this. On the next video, I'm going to do a two ingredient sorbet. My, one of my favorites is a pineapple sorbet. And all you use is two ingredients. It's so quick and easy. Two different ways you can make it. You can either freeze the pineapples first or make the smoothie first and then freeze that. Now, so this is going to be part of that one as well because I'm going to cut this in a way. After I core it and take all the pineapple meat out, I'm going to cut this in half and then we're going to use this um, half as a boat and make a pretty little display for you. And so then that will be pineapple, strawberries, and it will be pineapple sorbet, but I will garnish it with strawberry and sage, okay? So that's in the next video, look forward to that. And then on Friday, of course, as promised, will be the review of the vegan wine. Sorry, if you missed it from the last video, because I know it was in the middle and my video was kind of long and I don't know how many people watched to the end, but I always watch your videos to the end, but your videos are shorter than mine, so I understand. <laughs> but this is the wine that will be reviewed next Friday. And it is awesome. It is no preservatives added and organic, again, vegan, gluten-free, no detectable sulfates. I read the reviews on this. It's supposed to be excellent. This is the 2016. They do have a cab, and I am thinking of planning uh, a giveaway, and I might give away two bottles, the this red blend and the Cabernet Sauvignon. So definitely subscribe now. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter so you can get that announcement. Anyways, on to the drink. Too much rambling. Too much. Oh, I said you who saw me first. I guess it's history now and I shouldn't care, but it still hurts. I didn't realize the danger because you're the end of the rainbow. Okay, and now to the drink. We're going to do uh, dice up a few strawberries real quickly. Just, this is just one small strawberry. Put it in there. Actually, I'm going to do two, two small strawberries. See, about that size. And you just dice it up any kind of way. It doesn't matter because you're going to get smushed. Okay, put it inside. Pineapple, just cut. Just dice it up in small pieces. Even smaller. Small as you can go. Put that in there. And we got some organic sage. Mm. 
Yeah, we're just going to pick a few leaves. Put the whole leaf in there. I'm gonna put about, this is a small mason glass. I didn't want to make too much. This is like just one serving. Probably like, a, I think that's an eight ounce, maybe 10 ounce. And I put in one, two, three, that five. I'm gonna do one more, six. So I got six leaves, say, oh, that sage is strong. Okay, now this is simple syrup. Simple syrup is just hot, um, equal parts hot water and sugar. And mine's is brown because I wanted to use the raw terminado, raw cane sugar, and that's brown. But if you have the white sugar, it'll be clear. So it might make my drink a little bit discolored, but I'm okay with that. Just wanted to make sure it's raw. And it'll turn into like a thick sugary substance. So it's um, equal parts hot water and sugar. You let it, you stir it up and let it dissolve for a minute. And then once it's dissolved, you have your simple syrup. And I'm just gonna add a little bit to the bottom. A little bit more. Just eyeballing. I got about that much in there, you can see. And I don't have a muddler. Normally you would want a muddler, but I'm, oh, I like to use whatever I have around the house. And all I have is this with a semi-flat end and it's wood. So I'm just gonna, um, you don't want to muddle this too much because then the bitter parts of the fibers of the leaf will come out. You just want the aromatic oils to be released. So you're going to just, you know, press down. Don't, don't hit, 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 hit. Just go in here, squeeze down. Do it like maybe 10 times. And I'll just go down here and make sure you get the leaves, not just the fruit. Okay. But you do want to muddle the fruit too. Sorry. It's making so much noise because the wood handle. <laughs> but you just squeeze. Now we wanna get the ice. And what I do is, um, I get a towel, a clean one. And I have a, I have an ice tray here, full of this, you know, chunky ice. Get big chunks of ice. You're gonna put it in a towel, and you're gonna beat it against either the cabinet door, for whatever, you have, whatever hard service you have that won't chip or break. And so, a bit of shaved ice, see? Okay, so that's a little bit better. You're gonna add ice. All the shaved ice. Now we're going to add the rum. This is vegan, I did check it. <laughs> this is the Bacardi Silver. I just got the single serve, just to show you guys, because I don't really drink, I don't wanna buy a big bottle. And, there you go. That's the perfect amount for a little mason jar. Might need some more ice. And, oh sorry, just open this. This is organic pineapple juice. I didn't feel like juicing any, and I wanted to make this simple and quick. Oh, I forgot to shake it up. Um, before you, don't mess up. Before you put the mineral water in, uh, you're supposed to put this top on and then shake it real good. But I'm gonna put it on anyways and just go like this, gently. Cause I got the mineral water in there, the sparkling mineral water. Okay, look how pretty that looks. Pieces. A couple more leaves, which are already washed. And then you decorate. And then I just need a straw. It's so pretty. Look at this mojito. I still got it. 
almost feel like I should go back into bartending and make some extra cash for my van. But I love this. It's so pretty. So now it's time for the taste test. And I hope you like it, Dina, from Eat Laugh Review. Wow. That is good. I did not know how I would like it because I've never made a mojito or a drink with sage before. I mean, a mojito drink. I've never made it or tasted it with sage before. And so I was kind of, eh, I don't know, because I'm like a traditional girl. I like my traditional mojito with the lime and the mint. So I wasn't sure if I was gonna like this or not. But, um, but it's pretty good. <laughs> it's, it's more than pretty good, it's dang good. <laughs> This is so refreshing. It's so lovely. I need to take a bunch of pics before I drink it all. It might not make it to Instagram. It might not make it to Twitter. I need to hurry, okay? Because this is so good. Okay, again. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I got so much coming up, you guys. So many things. Don't forget. I have the vegan wine coming next. It's going to be part of a giveaway. I haven't figured it all out yet, but we're going to do it. You may be that winner. Try this mojito, please. Try these things, let me know how it tastes. This one's pretty quick, it's easy. Not that many ingredients, you can get it cheap. This little bottle costs $1.50. So, at your liquor, liquor store, $1.50. And, for people who don't drink, you can still drink this. This will taste amazing without the um, rum because of the pineapple juice. Just add more pineapple juice. So do pineapple juice, keep the, uh, the simple syrup in there. Keep everything the same. It's still gonna taste freaking amazing. Um, so this is a go. I've done mojito, virgin mojitos before, and they still taste really good. You just add more of the juice, and um, it's really pretty drink. So, Sage is a plus. Um, check out Elaf Review. She's gonna give her opinion. I think it's amazing, but like I said, I'm biased. I like everything I make. <laughs> so, check her out. Go to her channel. Her link will be below. I am looking to do more collabs. Collab with me, people. Collab with me. You all have a wonderful night. Thumbs up. Comment below. See you next time. Bye. Didn't catch your name over this crowd. Girl, you should wear a name tag. Cause all I want to do is to know your name. Girl, you should wear a name tag. That's the only way that I get your name Girl, you should wear a name tag It's too important to be your name People go insane when you walk by Girl, you should wear a name tag